Hello everyone, welcome to this day. It is Saturday, June 22nd, but you knew it was Saturday because I'm right here at the desk. That's how we start our Saturday shows right here. And we've got a great show to tell you about, so let's get right to it. We're going to be talking to the folks from the California Club about some great events they have coming up. And then flourishing in your third act. Really a great conversation we're going to have with Diane about just how you can make the last part of life the best part of life. And she has some great advice for that, so we're going to stay tuned for that. Uh, I want to keep you informed, and we got a good one for you folks. Uh, it's a little bit of an accident, but things are going to get better in a couple of weeks. And so for right now only the guest lane is open for the entry through gate 10 so there's going to be sometimes a little bit of a backup there so if you have another way in and out of the community make sure you do that gate 10 uh, is going to be a little bit cramped up for the resident side of that until they get those repairs done let's take a look outside at our weather and we've got a great warm weekend ahead it's the 80s folks and we are in for some really warm temperatures and that's going to go into next week as well we're going to have the you know morning clouds this morning and then clearing by midday at least and then mostly sunny skies for the next two days so really some great summer like temperatures now that summer is finally here on june 20th let's take a look at that sunrise and our sunset and this is a great picture from cole young he took on the solstice we had a, almost a full moon i think it was maybe a full moon uh, you know i'm not technically aware but on that 20th it was a full moon this was taken on the 20th and right at the solstice, our, our longest day of the year. Sunrise today, it's pretty close to the longest day of the year. Sunrise today was 541, and sunset tonight is going to be 804. If you'd like to send us a picture of a great sunrise, sunset, full moon, or partial full moon, whatever it might be, go ahead and send us those pictures. Email us at lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. Make sure you include your name, where you took the picture, and we will use it on our sunrise, sunset segment. Okay, when we come back, we're going to be talking about the California Club and all the big events they have coming up. Stay with us. California clubs here and they always have a lot going on so we're gonna get right to it with uh, Leon St. Hilaire and Sharon Peavy thanks for joining us thank you so you guys have this big event coming up next week June 25th what do you, what we got going on well it's gonna be a special event because uh, number one full spectrum is, will be playing their favorite band here in the village and uh, Tom Demosio is a cousin of Frankie Valley, and he's going to do a Frankie Valley tribute. And his, okay, fun. His, and his voice, believe it or not, because they're related in some way, they they sound really close. So, so it'll they, be a they're, great. They're full great... spectrum for folks who haven't heard of them before. They're 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 popular here in the village. That's they for are. Sure. <laughs> and they they've been around for uh, I know they've actually been singing together for over thirty years. Really? Yeah. And they have a song song list of over five hundred songs they can play. They're like a jukebox. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> great dance music. Too. Great dance music and okay. lots, lots of energy, and, and just going to be a great evening to uh, enjoy, especially with the good food we've got planned for that evening. Okay. That's Tuesday, June twenty fifth. Doors open at five fifteen p.m. Uh, members forty, guests fifty dollars, and people sure. can still get tickets, and people can still yep. get it. Uh, deadline for uh, online is tomorrow at noon. So. Okay. Or, you know, let's see, today's Thursday, so it's, well, well, it will be a different day when you see this. But. <laughs> <laughs> but, Saturday, well, we can get him in. Right we'll yeah, we won't, say, we won't say the cutoff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're on this line, so you can just go. Okay. So it'll be $40 for members and $50 for guests, and yeah. um, sounds like a fun one. It'll be good. The, the deadline is Saturday at noon. So you have to get your reservations online quickly. The mail-in forms are no longer going to be available. Okay, sounds about right. And so when you guys are doing these, and you guys are booking a lot of music, I mean, you, it's kind of a big, big task. It's a full-time job. 
<laughs> and Leon helps my husband Dave, who is the. He's um, getting calls from bands right now. Yeah. <laughs> we go we go around and see a lot of bands, yeah. and then we watch them online, and get recommendations from people, and they send them to all of us, mm -hmm. and then we pick what we think would be great for our club. Mm -hmm. And you guys are always looking for dance, fun. It's kind of like a, it's not a real uh, formal atmosphere in, at the California Club anymore, right? No, it's a ton of fun. <laughs> it, it's just a night you leave with smiling because you feel so great. And maybe even a little tipsy because we serve <laughs> three liters of wine, one liter, one and a half red, one and a half white at the tables. And there is a GRF bar before the dinner is served. So people, do, and we live so close, we are so close That's to good. our homes. We're going to get, get good, <laughs> safe rides home, Uber. <laughs> all that good stuff. <laughs> we you can walk get, home many people. some drivers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys have also coming up uh, on August 3rd, we've got the Chicago Tribute Band coming in. Yes. And speaking of that, let's take a little listen to Kenny Cetera's Chicago experience. Sounds great. Yes. Okay. And he was part of the original Chicago. In fact, his brother, Peter Satiro, started right. it. He's the a, he's a, he's a lead singer for a long time. And yeah. this um, band is phenomenal. It, and they're bringing all their horns and a whole set, and it is going to be just wonderful. And we think it will sell out, so people need to get... Uh, buying right away because it's very very popular and that's gonna be more of a show it's at the pack so yes. we're gonna be, it's more of a sit down and just enjoy a, a fun concert and tribute band right. from Chicago yeah. right and the pack sure. allows people to dance up at the top and people do sometimes stand in their seats and dance <laughs> because you just can't help you it. can't help that yeah right. so Absolutely. much fun <laughs> and that's gonna be um, coming up I want to make sure we hit that one August 3rd over at the pack 730 is the show time and tickets are available they can go to your website, they can go to the PAC website, whatever way they want to do that, but make sure you get those for that. That sounds like a fun one. And then we'll look ahead to September. We also have another, another event you have coming up there. You have some uh, California Dreamin'. That should be fun. Yeah, that will be great. It's outdoor concert on the patio at Clubhouse 2. And we've got uh, a special band, and actually their purpose band name is California Dreaming. Mm -hmm. And they, they will be playing hit songs from the 70s and 60s, all by uh, acts that were housed or living here in mm -hmm. California. So it'll be the Eagles and the Mamas and the Papas and the Ventures. Got to be the Beach Boys. The <laughs> Beach, <laughs> Beach Boys, Dick Dale, and many, many more. Mamas and the ever. Papas are in there, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the song list is up on our website, so if you can see what they're really going to be playing, and there's going to be more added as we go on through the summer. And uh, we got a special treat. We have a, a gal that's going to be making custom-made glazed cookies <laughs> for sale <Ooh. laughs> for They're us. Really good. <laughs> you had me at glazed cookies. And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the 19 restaurant is going to be supplying burgers and and. Uh, Okay, that so sort of thing. So. A little bit, so you know, it's not. Don't have to bring your own stuff if you don't want to. I'm sure people can do that as well. Yes. But, uh, there will be some food and some yep. there, yep. And, some, and definitely some glazed cookies for dessert. Yep. For a limited time now, you can go on our website, and there's a few tables on the patio. So this is going to be a little different. Uh, instead of having the band and a huge dance floor, that uh, we're going to have some seating on the table, so you can sit and listen oh, okay. to the music and watch the dancing and we'll have some extra seats inside the clubhouse if you want to get out but this the time is at five o'clock so all that patio will be already in the shade so it's not going to be a okay. hot hot so people can reserve those tables yes. on the website okay yeah. Well, that's kind of a nice treat for folks who don't really want to be on a stand or sit on the right. blanket the whole time. Right. And people can also bring their own umbrellas and canopies okay. and sit out on the uh, grass with their lawn chairs and bring their own everything. Okay. So it's a little bit of both. They can do either or. 
or both. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of everything. Uh, you guys got, we're looking down the line again in September. You guys got uh, Gloria Estefan tribute, Jennifer Lopez tribute, and, and Shakira tribute. Latin divas, you're calling it, right? This is my favorite. Okay. This gal <laughs> is amazing. She went a Juilliard train plus the Berkeley School of Music in Boston. She's young. She is so talented with a phenomenal voice. And she's going to take us through all the music with a big backup band and a little bit about their lives. So it's almost even a little musical theater by talking about them okay. as well. It is going to be fabulous. And I really hope people come out and see it. Uh, she's she's totally amazing. Well, what, what did you, how'd you find her? What, what? Um, I spent a lot of time searching for tributes for this theme. We mm -hmm. kind of came up with the Latin divas because there's always Broadway divas or right. soul divas. And the music is so fun that um, I did some research and I found her, and we're just thrilled. Okay, so that's going to come up on Saturday. Down the line, it's down the line a little bit, but Saturday, September 7th at the Performing Arts Center as well. So that should be a, a great show, and she's, she does it all. <laughs> she's phenomenal, just that's, phenomenal. So what's it like when, with you guys? I mean, this is kind of like almost a job. I don't want to say it's a job. I know you're having fun <laughs> doing it, but I mean, this is, this is real work, though, too. This is a full-time job. <laughs> yeah. um, we still find time to have fun and do our sports mm -hmm. and do our fun things, and we go to all the clubs, so mm -hmm. we hit those in too. But being retired, I think we're busier now than when we were working. <laughs> That's right. And, and Leon, you're 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 making the graphics. You're doing a lot of I'm stuff. The, the I'm scenes. the technology guy. I do the <laughs> website and manage all the uh, programs we use to collect uh, ticket information and what have you. And, we have a mailing program that I kind of manage that, and our membership is online and or in paper form if you want. So it, uh, it, it, there's a lot of little stuff that goes on, and every month when you create a new reservation form, all that mm -hmm. stuff has to be carried forward right. and make sure you get all the menus changes and all the clicks here and click there. <laughs> it's 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 amazing amount of stuff to going on. <laughs> and Sharon, I know the California clubs evolved a little bit since you've been since you've been with it. Um, t t for folks who maybe have this feel of uh, the knowledge of the old California club, how have things changed? You know, the best thing is we've added over 200 members, mm -hmm. and it's because the word is finally getting out that we are no longer a formal mm -hmm. suit and tie uh, ballroom type of couples dance club. That's how it started, right. but the whole Laguna Woods has evolved, and as the younger people are coming in, they d they're not used to that. Yeah, they, so, that's, their, that's their parents did that. Exactly. <laughs> so we are dressy casual, we have great dance bands, and what we really focus on is we also have singles tables, so we want to encourage singles to come and enjoy, and we go up and dance with all our single friends, so a lot of group dancing, and there's some line dancing, and just ways that everyone can have a great time together. And people, the people that have um, received that information are thrilled. And we're still trying to get the word out because I run into someone almost every day who says, oh, I know about that cloud. It was a couples only, or it was mm -hmm. ballroom, or it was mm -hmm. formal. And I said, not anymore. You know, check it out. Check it so out. So the word is getting out there. Our June 25th is the first opportunity. You guys can come out and check it out. They're going to have a great show for us out there. And tickets are still available for a full spectrum, so make sure that happens. Sharon Peavy and, and Liam St. Hilaire, thank you well, very much for joining us, both of you from the Our California Great. Club. Great. Thank you so much. You're watching This Day. We'll be right back. King Living Mid-Year Sale is on now. Five decades of Australian furniture design, crafted for a lifetime of comfort. So why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Sale on now. Are you ready to flourish in your third act? Well, I know Diane Lukic is, and she joins us now from Flourishing in Your Third Act. Thank you for joining us. 
Good morning, and I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Oh, you're always allowed. Room. Don't, yes. don't think you're, you're always welcome here. You always have such great things to talk about. You have an event coming up. I want to hit on that right off the top. You have a luncheon coming up on June 27th. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. That's our annual summer luncheon. It kind of ends the season, and we get together and have a nice luncheon buffet. But we're making it fun this year. We're going to have a hat contest. Yes, you brought you're wearing, wearing your own hat, but we have hats in the picture, and it's a little hat contest. <laughs> so we thought we'd have prizes for the prettiest hat, the ugliest hat, whatever. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll figure it out. But it's going to be a lot of fun because fun is part of flourishing. I would have worn a hat had I realized that that was uh, yeah. that you're going to wear your hat and do all that. But no, it is fun, you know. And, and I'll say, you know, um, there there are so many fun little groups that do those kinds of things. We're all going to wear purple. We're the ladies who do this and that kind of thing. And it just it's such a conversation starter. Just like, oh, where'd you get your hat? And then people just jump into things, right? It kind of really kind you know, of sets a tone. that's exactly right. And it can be something simple. Mm -hmm. So what I learned this year was not from older people, but I volunteered in the first grade classroom, mm -hmm. and I learned so much from those children about <laughs> having fun and being spontaneous yeah. and simple. So the hats are simple, but like you said, wearing the color purple or anything at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. all right. Yeah, it's a PJ day, and they all, they, it's the day. wildest. The PJ days, when my kids were in kindergarten, it was the wildest day ever. They were all so excited they to be wearing it. their PJs. Yeah. And it was just a whole other kind of vibe for the room. So again, the, the Well, hats, that's a good idea for flourishing. There, yeah. Pajamas. <laughs> Pajama, <laughs> Pajama party, right? <laughs> so um, tell me a little about flourishing in general. For folks who don't know about flourishing in your third act, what is it all about? So uh, about two years ago, when we were coming out of COVID, there was a need, I thought, for people to connect with the, each other at a deeper level. Mm -hmm. So not that we don't have enough clubs here in Laguna Woods. How many do we have? Over sure. 200, right? Yeah. And I thought, but there's none like this, sort of a support group to really connect at a deeper level. Mm -hmm. So I just put an ad in the Globe, and I was astounded at the number of people who responded. And then we did a survey and said, what is it that you're looking for? Mm -hmm. And they said, we're looking for a deep connection, talking about topics at a deeper level, mm -hmm. not just superficial small talk, but really getting to know each other. Okay. So. Is it, is it uh, and it's kind of like a, is it kind of a sense, I think you say, it's never too late to begin again, right? And that's kind of one of the, yeah. one of the themes around that? It is all about, I am so inspired from Julia Cameron, author of The Artist's Way. Mm -hmm. She also wrote a book called It's Never Too Late to Begin Again, who this presentation is based on, her mm -hmm. work. And I truly believe it is never too late to begin anything at all. Okay. There's so let's, many examples. Let's so. jump into that presentation that all you right. brought for us. It's, it's, a, it's a good one. We want to get on there. So uh, reigniting a sense of wonder. Oh, yeah. As you can see, we have an older man with a little girl. We are always the same age inside. We are. We need to let that inner child come out and play. I think this is one of the things that I myself have to really work at is playing mm -hmm. and being spontaneous and having fun. So I think that's a huge part of flourishing. Yeah, if you can that's smile at least once a day, you're doing you're doing well. Yeah, adults <laughs> adults smile far less than children. The statistics are amazing. Yeah, of the differences. And how about reigniting a sense of freedom? What does that mean? We're wow. free. We're already retirees. We are <laughs> free to do whatever we please. Right. Sometimes limiting beliefs hold us back. I don't want to appear goofy or silly. Who cares? No one really cares right. anyway. So that sense of freedom, as we say here, she refused to be bored chiefly because she wasn't boring. We don't want to be boring. <laughs> That's why I like that yellow coat she's wearing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's a, a Zelda F. F. Scott Fitzgerald's Fitzgerald, uh, yeah. wife, and yeah. they were a wild bunch in their day. Yeah, they were not boring, were, <laughs> they, were they? They were anything but boring, 100%. <laughs> um, reigniting a sense of connection, and that, like you talked about coming out of COVID, is a really good point that you wanted yeah. to make. So I think that's really the, the most important part. It's just, um, there's so much, we are so connected with each other. And when we get together in these small intimate groups, we have small breakout groups, we realize how alike we are. And we focus on how connected and alike, because people get together with people they've never met before and they realize, oh my God, we're both from New York. We both like opera or whatever it is and there's an interconnectedness that happens in these small breakout groups that people really enjoy. Yeah. And I think in this community especially people have a connection with their significant other and when yeah. that person is lost they 
they don't, they, the connection, that, that sense of absolute loneliness, I think, can overwhelm some people, the depression that goes in there. Yeah. And so they have to figure out new ways to make connections and be part of something again. That is so true. I'm so glad you mentioned loneliness mm -hmm. because that is an epidemic in the United States. Mm -hmm. It's an epidemic, even here in Laguna Woods, where one wouldn't think it would be. There right. are so many people that don't even know why they're lonely or what to do about it. But I think there's a certain element of risk involved. And often as we get older, we become more risk adverse. Mm -hmm. So going to that club for the first Putting time Putting yourself, yourself out there is a big thing, yes. even at any age. It feels, you yes. still feel so vulnerable sometimes, right? Yeah, that's it. Taking an art class for the first time because mm -hmm. we start, I start comparing. Oh, gosh, <laughs> mine's uh, not as good as theirs. <laughs> comparison is the death of joy. <laughs> How about reigniting a sense of purpose? If someone, like it, like we said, if they if some a big change in their life, they don't know who they are anymore, they've retired, a significant other is gone, something like that, and they don't know who they are anymore. This is the number one most Googled question. What is my sense of purpose? What is my purpose in life? We philosophers struggle with that forever. Mm -hmm. It's not a big thing. It's, it's little things. It's being joyful. It's smiling at people in the grocery store. It's being of service. It's finding what you truly love. Mm -hmm. So I just recently, for the first time, took an art class in home decor. Just started last week. And it has just reignited me with passion about decorating ideas and doing things on our deck to begin with. So Fun. creating it. So it's just that this passion comes out when you find something. So I encourage people to try things out of their comfort zone too, especially things they don't think they're going to like. There's going to be new tchotchkes at Diane's house very soon. All right, how about, um, reigniting a sense of honesty. And what does that exactly mean? Oh, honesty. Is it with yourself, with others, or everybody? That's authenticity. Authentic, okay. who am I really? Mm -hmm. And so that's dealing with change. And that's probably one of the most difficult things in life. But I, I myself am a Gemini, so I'm like the chameleon <laughs> uh -oh. who, who, who thrives on change. So my poor husband, of course. <laughs> you moved the furniture again. <laughs> now this week you're an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Next week you're writing class. Now what are you doing? I can't keep track of you. So it's, it's really finding your authentic self. Mm -hmm. And that takes, that's a risk to that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why sometimes um, I teach a writing class. And often people are so hesitant because they don't think they're a good writer. And so, you know, get, getting rid of all those limiting beliefs about being good or bad. Mm -hmm. We are all amazing. Now, when you think of flourishing, you don't think of humility. But that's, that's a little bit of part of it, too, a sense yeah. of humility. Yeah, it is. It definitely is, because we don't want to be out there bragging about things. We want to be humble, mm -hmm. have a certain humbleness about us. Right. Uh, a Experience and about. enjoying something is different than bragging, right? That's and right. You, you're, you're really enjoying No one likes something. a bragger, do no they? No one likes a bragger, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am the very best artist in Laguna Woods. <laughs> yes, unless you're talking about your gra grandkids, then it's okay to brag. How <laughs> 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 about a sense of resilience, and that's... Oh, that's Again, the biggest that one. When we go through things, that resilience is tested. You know, resilience, I think, is at the top of the list because I was just talking to a friend yesterday. We were walking on the Serpentine Trail, and we were talking about how many friends have cancer mm -hmm. or Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, really realizing and thriving in spite of those changes and the decline of the physical body mm -hmm. and impending death. We never talk about death in America. But we're all going to die at some day. The and so mortality I think, rate on Earth is 100%. That's right. <laughs> death acceptance is, is an important part of that. Uh, yeah. I really like it to accept that we're not. And that makes you enjoy life even and then more. That's, I was going to say, that's the flourishing part, right? Well, if that's I only have right. so, a certain amount of time, if there's a ticking clock on this, then let me get out there and enjoy while I can. That's right. And flourish right now in this moment, no matter what's going on. I don't think you have a problem with this one, but what about reigniting a sense of joy? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I, you know, I love joy. I wake up in the morning joyful. It doesn't take tell. a lot, though. A cup tell. of coffee makes me joyful. <laughs> so it's not a lot that it's. <laughs> and the sun. Oh, my God, I'm so happy to see the sun. 
<laughs> and living in Southern California, come on, how can you not be joyful? Absolutely. <laughs> and your, your, your husband, I'm guessing, has reignited his sense of patience with you. <laughs> that is true. Oh, yeah, I, I'm going to have a watch. <laughs> he does have to be patient with this woman, this chameleon wife. <laughs> Although nope. we do the jazz club, too, so we do that one together. Now, flourishing, I would imagine, has a lot to do with motion. Get yourself moving into something, right? And, and just move every day in some way, shape, or form, oh, no matter yeah. what your maybe um, limitations might be. That's right. And it could be doing chair, we have a lot of chair yoga and things mm -hmm. like that. You can just watch on Channel 6. You can be right in your living room and do um, stretching and different exercises. But that's, that's really, my doctor said that's what he spends all day talking to people about is getting exercise. Mm -hmm. I thought he'd say eating healthy. He said, no, it's exercise. <laughs> <Darn> <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm over there at the fitness center <clears throat> every morning, so. <laughs> yeah. um, no. It's a lot of people feel like, uh, as I'm aging, the vitality wanes. But uh, you want to, you're also saying we have to kind of rediscover that sense of vitality. Yeah. And um, as we can see from our slide, mm -hmm. it's not the length of your life. It's the depth of your life. I like that. So I love <laughs> that. So it's not so much that I'm going to live to be 110, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to make the most of each day and really that involves mindfulness and mm -hmm. enjoying each moment, waking up, looking at the birds out there, hearing the sounds, enjoying that cup of coffee. I think mindfulness is key. Yeah. Right. And I know you don't have a problem with this one either, a sense of adventure. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with that. You know, skydiving, scuba diving, but of course we don't do quite as many of those adventurous things as much, but I love trying new things. And it doesn't have to be a risky thing. It could be trying a new, Julie always wants you to go to a new restaurant or try something new once a week, go somewhere you've never been. Different grocery store, different restaurant, take a different route, and it ignites that in you, that sense of adventure. Okay, and we're running out of time, but I want to hit that last one for sure, and it's an important one, the sense of faith. Sense of faith, I Whatever don't know that how we can do be. it without it. Faith right. is knowing, knowing that the universe has our back. The universe is there, and we put out those positive thoughts. At least I find that to be true in my life. The more positive I think, the more positivity comes to me. Absolutely. Let's hit that uh, brochure one more time. Flourishing in your third act invites you to the summer hat That's lunch, and right. make sure you bring a hat. It's going to be June 27th, Clubhouse 2, 1.30 to 3 o'clock. And uh, folks can get out in there for a cost of $15. That's and just right. Enjoy it's going to be great, a lot of fun. A great community of people wearing really cool hats. That's right. <laughs> we'll take lots of pictures. <laughs> Diane, thank you so much, Flourishing in the Village. We appreciate you uh, being here, Flourishing in your third act. We are thank making it Thank you for having me here. I so appreciate it. Absolutely. It's great talking to you. You're watching This Day. We'll be right back. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. Remember me, I'm the king of Whoopi. <laughs> and you're watching Village Television, but everybody does. Welcome back. Let's take a look at our Saturday movie before we head out for the day. It's called The Zone of Entrance. It's a very interesting movie, and you might enjoy that one today at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, both of those with the subtitles. Let's check a quick check on our weather before we head out for the day, and it's a warm weekend, as you already know. We are going to be in the mid to upper 80s through the weekend. A little bit cooler on Monday, but uh, really great temperatures. Very summer as we finally have it hit summer, and uh, June gloom is going to start peeling away just a little more every week. Should be nice. All right, Monday on the program, we have the Republican Club coming in, and old pros are going to be here as well, so stay tuned to that. For all of us here at Village Television, I'm Michael Taylor. We hope you make this day a great one. <laughs>